Thank you so much for coming here today. My name is Representative Kimberly Pine, and I represent uh, the Eva Beach area, which is a very large military community on Oahu. Uh, as a Navy wife whose husband has been uh, deployed twice during the Iraq War, I know firsthand the sacrifices that our men and women have made uh, to ensure our freedom. And so we're proud here today to introduce our Veterans Preference Bill for the Hawaii State Legislature. The, the state has currently other preferences. We have preferences for recycled products and uh, local products and small businesses, but we don't have one for veterans, and many other organizations and states do have a preference for veterans. And so our, our first speaker today is going to be our host. Uh, he's a, a Marine veteran and proud of it, and that, of course, is Mike McKenna. Mahalo. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you everyone for supporting the veterans owned businesses. Uh, I see that some familiar faces that I know support the businesses. Let me turn it over to Representative Ward and uh, listen to what he has to say. Thank you. This bill is about recognizing our veterans, putting a set aside of 3% of all of the state's contract services and products for veterans. We have $1 billion of products that we sell to the public vendors. We have now a 3% set aside in this bill. Additionally, if you are a veteran, we give you a 4.5% preference. If you're a disabled veteran, we give you a 5% preference. The point is, these are the, the men and women who have served. These are the men and women who deserve a chance to come back. If you look at the homeless figures of veterans, it's astounding. This is a gesture to get those veterans who are back on their feet in business and giving a preference by the state of Hawaii. Kamung Nyulam. Thank you very much. And our next speaker will be Representative Aaron Ling Johansson, who uh, represents the largest military area in the state of Hawaii. Thank you. Uh, I have the privilege of representing Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, but what a lot of people don't know about House District 32 is most of the areas that aren't a military base were largely settled by people who are military veterans. So the Moana Lua, Aiea, Foster Village areas, you find high, high populations uh, of veterans who've just helped build the foundations for Hawaii. And that's what we really see this bill as doing, is helping to set uh, and more firmly establish a foundation uh, and an economic opportunity for a lot of young people uh, who are coming back. And unfortunately, they're coming back to an economy that doesn't always see uh, the most potential uh, and sometimes seems like it's sputtering along. And so in order uh, to provide that economic opportunity, we feel like establishing a veteran's preference uh, is really going to help uh, to provide that foothold. Uh, you know, we. It's an important part of the American dream, and a lot of our veterans are returning to different circumstances than they did uh, in World War II, where the economy was bustling and people had uh, the ability to just go out and start their own uh, small business. My grandfather was a World War II veteran uh, who was able to do that, and we just want to make sure uh, that uh, today's young people uh, have those same opportunities. What I have the pleasure of doing, actually, is introducing uh, one of our main speakers today, Colonel Dave Bateman, He's a retired veteran and a regional advocate for the National Veteran-Owned Business Association, and he's also a local small businessman. He's owner of Heavenly Hawaiian Coffee in Kona. So with that, uh, Colonel Bateman. Thank you very much, Aaron. You know, I want to thank the Republican Caucus for taking on this cause. This is something that's very near and dear to my heart and to that of other veterans throughout the United States. We are launched uh, with an effort to provide preferences and benefits to help our returning vets and the retired vets that find it so difficult to work, to find work, and to engage in our economy. And so this is a great step forward for the state of Hawaii. And I want to thank the caucus for stepping up to that. And I want to thank all the veterans who are here representing the other veterans who are not here to speak for themselves. And so <clears throat> I can't say uh, thanks, thanks enough to you all. One out of every seven uh, business owners in the United States are veterans, and we currently tally that to be about 2.4 million businesses throughout the United States. Here in Hawaii, 
we count the number of about 10,200. That's based on the 2007 census. That's a lot of business, and that's a lot of people and a lot of veterans and some service disabled veterans who need help. And for the first time, the state is stepping up to take care of, of this challenge. And I just, again, can't thank you enough. And so with that, I'd like to introduce one of our veterans, small business owner, Alan Viteka. He's a veteran and owner of A&M Landscaping, uh, located in Kapolei. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'd just like to say thank you to the Republican uh, Party for taking care of this issue and trying to move this forward. Um, for myself, I'm Alika Waiteka, um, and I'm a retired 22-year Army Reservist who served the uh, deployment in Iraq. Uh, when I came home, we, we restarted up our company, and with this bill, what it will do is basically give um, our Hawaii National Guardsmen and Reservists the opportunity to get started again. A lot of us who are reserves in National Guard have had to uh, either shut down a company or work with bare bones. And when you come back, at least there's a way you can get back into business. Um, and with that, I'd like to say thank you. Well, thank you so much, Alika. And, and I was talking to Alika earlier that he's exactly who we were thinking about when this bill was drafted. And we want to especially thank Dave Bateman, Colonel Bateman, who came up with this idea. And, and it's really the, the veterans who are making sure that there's no veteran left behind. 